Hello, in this video we're going to look at zero coupon bonds. So a zero coupon bond is a bond that does not pay interest over its life. Investors buy zero coupon bonds at a discount off its face value and once the bond matures the investors receive the face value. So problem one, a company plans to issue five years zero coupon bonds with a face value of $1,000. If the yield to maturity on similar five-year bonds is 6.5%, what is the issue price of the bond? We can simply use the future value formula to help solve this problem. So on the left-hand side, we got the future value, which is going to be $1,000. So you buy this bond, and then in five years, you're going to get $1,000. The present value is what we're going to try to solve for in this problem. That is the issue price of the bond. So the PV is what we don't know. R in this problem is just the interest rate, rate of return, and that is 6.5%. So we're going to plug in 0.65. R enters in uh, the form of a decimal. And N here is the number of years. So N will be lowercase n will be 5. So plugging all those values into our formula, and now we're going to solve for PV, which is going to be the issue price of the bond. And this will then simplify to almost $730. So an investor will buy this bond for $730. It will, the investor will not receive any interest payments during this five-year period, but uh, at the end of the fifth year, the investor will receive this face value of $1,000. Example two, an investor buys a 10-year zero coupon bond, face value is $1,000 for $812. What is the yield to maturity or the rate of return? So once again, we can use our future value formula. The $1,000 is what this bond will grow to. $812 is the present value. That's what the investor paid for the bond. N will be 10, and what we're going to do is solve for R. So plugging all our values in here that we know. And now dividing through by 812. And we want to get rid of this 10 here. We just want to get R by itself. So we're going to raise both sides, the left-hand side and the right-hand side of this equation, to the reciprocal of 10 or 1 over 10. And that leaves us with this result. And then the left hand side will simplify down to 1.021. Then we're going to subtract 1 from it. And we get a yield to maturity or real interest rate of 2.1%. All right, that's it. I'll stop here.